creating a product mock-up business like this or like this means you need to have some form of skills in taking pictures have equipments like cameras, the product itself, the shooting location. In addition, you need to set up the scene and take images. All these are cost intensive and time consuming. But what if I tell you that with few prompts in Mid Journey AI version 5, you will be on your way to creating a stunning and realistic product mock-up business with little to no money in less than 24 hours. Let me show you how. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studios. In case you're wondering what a mock-up is, a mock-up is an image businesses used to showcase their products or designs to help their customers envision how the products will look like upon purchase. So let's look at some existing mock-up stores on Etsy. All right, so the first store I'll be looking at would be a store that sells wall art mock-up. This store has beautiful mock-ups done. As you could see, it takes a bit of effort to put this together if you're using photography. This store has made um, over 2,400 sales since inception to show you there's a bit of demand. Another store that caught my attention is called Ratty Tank. Ratty Tank has made over 90,000 sales, which is over $200,000 since inception. And as you could see, they have mock-ups for a lot of things. So what I'm looking at is mock-up for mugs. And you could see that these particular mock-ups were taken with photography. And you could see that this is done by someone that has a product um, photography knowledge. Then just in comparison, let me show you another store that is creating wall art mockups using AI. So this is one I found. This store was open sometime in January 2022, and you could see that they have made over 497 sales already. And with Mid Journey 5, the mockups are way realistic than what we have here. Then the last one I'll be showing you before we move over to Mid Journey, it's another store that was open just two months ago, and they have made over 172 sales since inception. To tell you, there's a bit of demand for mockups but something i need to specifically mention is that you need to do a niche research to help you understand demand the competition and product analysis i've linked a video in the cart above so you could um, watch the video and follow step by step on how to do product analysis on etsy so now we have seen some of the examples of stores that sell these on etsy let's move over to me journey 5 and i will show you how to create these mockups for those who are new to Mid Journey, um, you need to create an account in two places. One would be in Discord.com and the other would be MidJourney.com. So for mid Discord.com, you come to this open Discord and sign in with your Gmail or your email address or you could create an account. Then once you have done that, the next thing is to go to MidJourney.com and come to the base here where you see Join Beta. Click on it. It's going to load and it's going to say that you have been invited to join Mid Journey and it will say accept invite. You click on that to let it open. So you could see accept invite. You click on accept invite and it's going to open the Discord app on the web. You can choose to download the Discord app on your system if you prefer that, but I prefer to use it on the web. Okay, and it opens up. So this is where we will start making our mockups but before we go into using or creating the prompts just to give you a bit of a background of how much it costs if you want to use me journey so me journey has different plans they have like the basic plan that has limited image generation of 200 then they have a standard plan which is $30 per month and you have unlimited generation then you have $60 per month if you want to generate your images in stealth mode which means you don't want others to see um, your images I currently use um, the $30 plan because I want to generate images um, without any form of restriction so now let's go into mid journey so once we come into mid journey at the very bottom here we're going to type forward slash then just to make sure that we're using me journey 5 you click on settings and enter and it's going to give you a breakdown you can see this is me journey 1 to 5 so i've selected 5 so you select that and you click on dismiss message 
So once you do that, the next thing we have to do is we want to put in the prompts to generate our images. So the first set of images I'll be generating or the set of mockups I've generated would be for a nursery. So I'm going to type in slash then choose imagine then i'm going to put in a prompt for me journey to generate for me a nursery room and i want that nursery so paste i want that nursery room to have three white wall frames no images no text and it has to be mock-up hd and it's going to work and we'll see what it's going to generate for us All right, so it's done generating. One good thing about version five is that it gives you high quality images right from the bat. So you don't need to do the better upscale we did in version four. So what you need to do, if any image you like, so I like this and this, I'll just select upscale once and the images is just gonna load immediately. And as you could see how clean this is, it looks, almost very realistic you can't even tell if someone took the picture or if it was created with um, ai then let's upscale the fourth one so we click on this and immediately upscales guys this is brilliant and you could go ahead to assuming you don't like any of the pictures you could just click on the reroll and it's going to generate more pictures for you so let me just show you other ones that i created earlier on just to show you so you see how this how clean this is and this is another one i created using like a brown theme see how clean this is a lot of them seem to have very clean and realistic look on it and i'm um, i assure you if you are selling this on etsy nobody's gonna take a tell a difference whether you took the pictures yourself or you created this with ai so now that we have created some in in the nursery wall art niche let me show you how we could create things like tumblers and mugs in mid journey 5. so for tumblers i'm going to click on um the same imagine so let's type imagine and then i'm going to put in the prompt so i said blank white skinny so 20 ounce tumbler with a straw no text mock up with gray background and we would hit enter and allow it to do its thing all right so this is done this looks so realistic this is clean let me upscale um one two and four so you could see how clean it is you can't tell this is generated with ai this is stunning and and let me upscale four So you could see that these pictures look as if it was taken with the right light exposure up close is clean is blank so you could allow customers put in the designs they want so this is you know one of the advantages of me journey five that you know that i'm mind blown and you know i keep trying different things and it keeps giving me very realistic images the last example i'll be showing would be for mugs so you can use this to generate endless mockups for your business so you could use it for your business or you just want to generate for yourself for your own business you could use this as well so let's just look at um a 15 ounce mug and have it generated no text blank and let's see what it's going to create okay so this is done as you could see guys this is so realistic this is this this let me just upscale this one so we could see so this is number three let's upscale it and immediately it gives us a result so i'll be leaving the you know all the prompts i tried in in the description box so you could pick that up and try it out for yourself so you could get similar results like what i'm showing us today and one good thing about it is you don't need to have it as like a gray backdrop you could make it like in a kitchen in 
any background you want and it's going to give you a very clean image you could even make it um two images side by side and it's going to give you outstanding results so you know go ahead try this out you know and you know tell me in the comment section below things you tried out and you know let's have a chat about it so if you're enjoying this video and you find value so far please hit the like button and subscribe to join this community so after we are done generating all our images the next thing would be how do we package and sell these mockups so i'll be using the nostri picture this one as an example so the next thing you need to do is to right click on it and save this image so i've saved a copy one important thing i need to mention is you need to upscale these images using tools like ai image enlarger just in case if the customer wants to enlarge the picture so it doesn't um grain out or lose its quality so after you have finished upscaling the images you come to canva and we'll be creating a dimension used for um itsy mockups or itsy pictures or itsy listings so we'll come to custom size and then we'll choose um 2700 by 2025 pixels that's the size once we choose that it's going to load load a blank page and the next thing is we're going to upload that image that we upscaled so i've already uploaded the image let me show you so this is the image so i'll just click on it and right click and set as background we want it to fill up you could see how clean this image is next thing we want to put like images or picture frames here so we could put in our images to showcase as an example so you come to elements and then we're gonna use scroll down a bit and we'll be using grids let's see if we could use this you don't want it to cover everything let's see okay so we will reduce this let's make it fit into this frame So once you get the right fit the next thing is to duplicate and um, fill up this next two one so let's get this right first so this is the one you'll be offering but let's just make a copy because you use a picture just to showcase what it looks like so let's bring in a picture i have a picture of a, a dog i created so you could just drag this in just to showcase what it looks like right so we drag this in this looks really cool then you would offer the blank one so once they get the template they could put in the pictures themselves so how do you offer this once you are done you know packaging your mock-up the next thing is to come to share and where it's saying collaboration link change this to anyone with this link then you could copy this link this link you can paste it on a word document convert it to pdf and offer that pdf so anytime your customers makes a purchase they will download the pdf click on the link and they can access this template okay so that is how to package this for wall art this can be done similarly for the tumblers and the mugs as well so now that we have been able to establish how to sell this in terms of creating the listing on etsy and also you know making the sales i've linked a video in the card above to walk you through step by step on how to open your etsy store create a listing and stop making those sales now we have been able to establish how to package and sell our mock-ups the next thing would be how much is it going to cost to start this business or this side hustle so the first one would be the mid journey subscription i'll recommend the 30 dollars so you don't have restrictions on the amount of images you need to generate so you could do multiple retries so that's 30 dollars um, per month the next thing would be the canva subscription so the canva subscription you can do this in canva free you don't need to do it in the canva pro so you don't need to pay for that then the last thing you need would be the etsy store so normally if you list um for for every listing on etsy it costs about 20 cents but if you use my link in the description box you would get 40 free listings 
for when you open your store. So basically, in the first few months, you're not paying anything. So overall, you'll be spending about $30 to start this. So there you have it. If you're interested in any other digital products you could sell online with the help of AI, you could check out these two videos on the screen. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn on your bell notification to know when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.